This is the hardest, most intense, and mentally tough ski competition I've ever seen live. Welcome to the Red Bull Raid Race. Big, humongous, giant ski day today. It's the first annual Red Bull hike up the hill and then ski down. I forget what it's actually called. That's the name. That's the name, I think. It's the first one. It's the first one. Ever. In Canada. Maybe just in trouble. But, Greg's skiing in it. We have another beautiful overcast day in Trombo. Dude, I think we've got one, one sunny ski day this year. It was amazing. It was amazing, but it would be sick to have a couple more. Her body like the wild, wild west. Holding a camera and all my ski equipment is not something I've mastered yet. Okay, we made to the gondola. Zero line. We're laughing. Fifteen minutes to get to the edge. Light work. I was hoping it was gonna be tighter so I could I could brag about how I'm the fastest skier alive. Dude, so what's the what is the deal with this? What's the plan? You, you're allowed to put your skins on, which they first said they you weren't, but you are. So. Yeah, I'm thinking about 15 minutes or gonna say go. And then you just Everyone's hike up. Throw on their gear, go up as fast as they can, first person up. Um, point. This is why you don't plan, alright? My plan just got absolutely decimated. Bulldozed over, plowed through. The plan was just to hike up a bit, catch the start, and then I'm just gonna lap the chair. To like get a hit, get Greg at different different points, but they're not letting anyone up the trail, up the chair. So I just hiked up a little bit. I'm gonna catch the start, and then apparently there's a jump mid trail, so I'm just gonna hike the jump and then film some stuff there. I get my Greg my GoPro, and hopefully he'll be able to catch the top or something. I don't know, bro. We're gonna out live. Oh, but I want to point out this is the first one in Canada. Okay. This is the very first one in Canada of this competition. Okay, it looks like they're about to start here. The rules have been, I've been told the rules have changed a couple of times. First, you weren't allowed skins, now you are allowed skins. I don't know, I think they're just making up things as they, uh, as they go along. But honestly, any good game or competition, that's what they do. Anyway, so. Okay, everyone just started cheering, so I think they're about to start. All right, just start the race, all right? Everyone's bored. Okay, it'd be sick if they started the race. I am the most bored I've ever been in my entire life. Oh, movement, movement. So I guess you gotta start with your skis in hand. It's kind of epic, actually. Buddy, blow the horn. What are you rambling about? Oh, okay, so there's two lines. There's a line like 20 feet above the starting where you have to cross before you put your skis on. Three, two, one. Let's go. Sprinting. Absolute chaos. Who's gonna put their shoes on? Or Greg? I can't see Greg. Oh, they all run. I didn't see Greg either. Well, they're spreading out. I think you have to be between these lines on the left, though. Holy fuck! These guys are marching. Can't see Greg yet, unless that's him at first. Okay, they actually are opening the chair, so this changes my plan once again. Sprinting up the hill. There's Greg. Spotted. Legend. It's probably in 20th right now. It's pretty sick. Let's go, Greg. The champion. Those guys are so far ahead. It's actually an interesting experiment because this is the this is the edge chair. This is the slowest chair on the hill. And I've always wondered what's faster, taking the lift or skinning up. We're about to find out. Dude, look at all of these animals. Decent spread. Decent spread out on everyone. But, dude, they're almost halfway up. It's pretty impressive. Pretty fun competition, honestly. Shout out Red Bull. <laughs> I was just listening to this podcast the other day how the creator of Red Bull is a complete and utter legend. I want to do a full video about him. One thing that's interesting about the 
the founder of Red Bull is that he didn't do anything to stop bad press. You know, he just considered that marketing and really good marketing. At the beginning, Red Bull, the rumor was going around that Red Bull had a bull sperm in it and he did nothing to correct that. He's like, let the people think that. People are still drinking it, it's all good. Another interesting thing is he said that the taste doesn't matter. And then he has this one really good quote, I don't wanna botch it, but the taste doesn't matter. That Red Bull is not just a drink. Instead, it's a philosophy, one seemingly derived from his own outlook on life and a functional product used to improve strength and performance and to revitalize the body and mind. Those are his words. Okay, all these guys are more than halfway up. Like, there's no shot some of them don't beat the chairlift. Sprinting up a mountain with your skis on. Cool. Also, I couldn't see Greg there, so. Dude, I think he's, uh, I think he's at the top of the pace. Because the way it works, the, like, the first place, the first guy to get to the top gets 100 points. Second, 99, 98, 97. So yeah, and I think, I think they just ski under this chair after. Oh my god, that is a insanely spooky sketchy jump. What the fuck? Oh yeah, check out this check out this three foot jump we made. You get to land on grass. Cool. Cool. Oh sprints across the finish. Legend. He deserves those hundred points. Let's go. Is that Greg? No. Let's go. <laughs> Push it, bro. You got it. Dude, you're not even tired. Let's go. Big finish. Finish strong. How's that? I need water, holy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what was I thinking? Uh, oh. Was that harder than you thought? Yeah, a lot. Okay. Dude, Greg is one of the most in shape people I know and I've never seen him this gas before. Honestly, like right when I put my skis on, I was like, <laughs> Really? <laughs> I just struggled the whole way up. No way. How rough was like the last pitch? Oh, like basically when you when you get to the pitch, it was just like absolute struggle. Yeah. I was just breathing so hard. I've seen Greg do a lot of physically demanding sports and activities. I've never seen him this guy before. It's crazy. Entertained by my pain. Who ain't cash a check off my name? When my campaign turned to campaign, I burn eight billion to take off my chains. Burn, baby, burn. Sometimes it hurts. I guess I never learn. So who would make us turn the CEO of the firm? It's now some whistle to churn with big worm. Man, a couple wrong turns can fry you forever. It's a permanent burn. You charge it for. Hey, no filming. Cookie that's bang for your buck. If you're kissing on the mouth, you ain't charging enough. You heard I was flying them out. They was trying for clout. I was dying to gout. Man, the world gone mad. Hurt R. Kelly in the next balance. Yeah, unfortunately, this is, the, this is the best angle I can get for the full run. Doing something completely illegal, right? For the, for the movie. In the middle of the course. Look how deep the snow is here. Up to my knee. Now we just wait for Greg to come down. Oh. Okay, pretty sure Greg's up next. Let's absolutely go. Check out this spooky, sick, beautiful stream of light we got going on here. This is Greg. Greg just had a huge three and bail. Devastating. At least he fucking sent it though. Panicking, trying to put a ski on right now. There he is, let's go. Back together, like it never happened. He's gone, I've lost him forever. Oh, there he is. Emerges from the freaking shadows of the darkness. Let's go. Cuts over. Cuts over. Sending to this jump. Let's go. Easy. I don't know what that was. Seemed pretty cool though, I think. Big judge score. Okay, fourth jump here. Easy money, 360. 
Light work. Those are the best three of my life. I've seen in my entire life. Okay. Oh, almost loses it. We're good though. We're just chilling. Comes over the worst jump of the course. Yes, let's go, Craig. Skis towards the final jump. Skiing. Absolutely lighting the snow on fire with his turns. Oh no! No! No, he's gone. No, dude. No, dude. No. Greg, this is not part of the plan, Greg. Devastating. Oh no. I don't want to say that was the worst spot in the course to fall. I'm going to put a ski on and we're going to have a strong finish. So after we go. 360. Easy money. He's the GOAT. <laughs> no, no, I was like probably 30. I went pretty big and you just fall out of the sky. Dude. And I landed it, but I was like, dude, like extending my legs to touch down before like the next mogul. I was like, I had no energy in my legs and I just like landed and wheelied out like boom, 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 boom. And I was like, came to a stop and I was like, oh my god, I'm alive. Okay, let's go. How do you feel, host? Honestly, I feel pretty good. I'm happy I did it. I'm very happy I don't have to go up again. That was uh, type two fun for sure. It was horrible on the way up and uh, I'll remember it for a while. That was fun. Why did you choose to fall on the last jump? Uh, that was, uh, I was really hoping for the style points. Uh, I figured if I landed or I finished with no skis on and actually made it across, I would be uh, I just found out that there's actually two laps of this. So the top 10 people, top 10 guys from the first round have to redo the entire thing. And then the winner gets a free cat ski trip. I don't know, man. Okay, I got Tash with me. We're heading to the Caribou. We're about to go see who won the competition. I think it was Greg? Yes. Definitely not Greg. Okay, next year, buddy. Next year. Next year. And one main theme that runs through this entire story that he has profound profound self beliefs because belief because when he's 41 he quits his job and starts his first company and puts all of the money that he has in it he says there is no market for red bull we will create one welcome to the wet <laughs> fuck <laughs> hey guys welcome to the web bull wave going really good today